Right, so before we move on to further reactions of the alcohols, we need to talk about carbonyls. Um, so this is a new classification of organic compounds that you need to know. Carbonyl compounds contain the C double bond O group. So they all contain that. That is the carbonyl group. And we are going to talk about them a little bit at AS, but far more at A2. There are two different types of carbonyl compounds. The first type, whoa, that's mad, are aldehydes. So, aldehydes have some carbon chain, C double bond O, and then an H at the end. So that is what makes an aldehyde, is that this is an H at the end. So that is always at the end of a compound. So the simplest aldehyde would be methanal. So notice aldehyde's name end in al. And methanal would just be C double bond O. I've only got one carbon. That's it. The second one is going to be ethanol. So I've got two carbons now. So it's going to be CH3 and then C double bond O and then an H on the end like so. So you can see how it works. You've got to be really careful to distinguish these between from alcohol though. Because um, an alcohol obviously ends in O and aldehydes end in al, and it's really easy to get those muddled up in the exam. So, and they go on propanol, um, butanol, and so on, quite easy. Okay, the second carbonyl compound that you need to know are ketones. So, a ketone contains the carbonyl group but on either side contains a carbon atom. So the simplest ketone actually contains three carbon atoms. And so it's going to start with prop. And hopefully you can guess how it's going to end. It's going to be propanone. Now, with ketones, you need to think, do I need a number to tell me where that carbonyl is? For this one, no. What would it be if it was on the end? If I put that on that end carbon, it would called be propanol, because it'd be an aldehyde. Um, the next one is going to be butanone. That's going to have four carbon atoms. Again, do I need to do a number? No, I don't, because it's on the second. If it's on the end, it's, it would be butanol. And doesn't matter, it's either the second one there or the second one there. Um, the first one I need to think about names is pentanone. Pentanone um, is going to have five carbons, so it could be this guy here, CH2, CH2, CH3. This would be pentan 2 O. If it was on this carbon here, it would be pentan. 3O and so on. So hopefully you can see how this works. So two thing, two two main classic uh, new types of organic compound, aldehydes and ketones. Uh, you need to know both of them really well. And we're going to now look and see how they relate to the alcohols.